Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Eid al Fitr. In the cable, His Royal Highness expressed Eid greetings to His Majesty the King and prayed to God to protect His Majesty, as well as the country, the Arab and Muslim nations, wishing all happy returns. His Royal Highness also expressed pride in the leadership of His Majesty the King and wished further prosperity and progress to the Kingdom and its people, praying for His Majesty's continued health and happiness for the Kingdom and for the entire world, a speedy recovery from the pandemic. His Majesty the King sent a cable in which he thanked His Royal Highness the Premier and expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's message, praying to God to provide His Royal Highness with continued health and the Kingdom and the Arab and Muslim nations, as well as the entire world, speedy recovery from the pandemic. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of greetings from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Eid al Fitr. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes to His Majesty the King on the happy occasion, praying to God the Almighty to see if God His Majesty the King's well being and to fill his aspirations for the Kingdom and its people, and to return this occasion on His Majesty the King, bestowed with health, happiness, and long life and for the Arab and Islamic nations with all the goodness and blessings. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah to protect and preserve the country, its citizens and residents, and bless them with health and well-being, and to safeguard Bahrain and humanity from the corona pandemic. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, in which His Majesty the King extended his thanks and appreciation for the cable of greeting, sent by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of the advent of Eid al-Fitr. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to repeat such occasion for the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations, and to remove the corona pandemic and to bestow health and well-being on everyone. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables and congratulations with leaders of Gulf, Arab, Islamic and friendly countries, marking Eid al Fitr. He wished good health and happiness to the countries and people's more progress, prosperity and well-being praying to Allah the Almighty to lift the pandemic off human beings and restore normal life. His Majesty King Hamid bin Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished Jordan's monarch good health and happiness and his brotherly country and people further progress and prosperity, healing steadily growing relations in all fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations on the advent of Eid al Fitr from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and bless him with health and happiness, wishing the loyal people of Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations further progress and prosperity. In return, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa also sent a reply cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, wishing him health and well-being and happiness. He also wished him many happy returns in the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations for their progress and prosperity, praying to lift the pandemic of human beings and bless them with health. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of congratulations with leaders of Gulf, Arab, Islamic and friendly countries, marking Eid al-Fitr. He wished them health and happiness to their countries and people's more progress, prosperity and well-being, praying to Allah the Almighty to lift the pandemic of all human beings and restore normal life. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Premier wished Jordan's monarch good health and happiness and his brotherly country and people for the progress and prosperity, healing steadily growing historic relations on all levels. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent a similar cable of congratulations to Jordan's Prime Minister Dr Omar Al Razaz. His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged Eid greetings with leaders of Gulf, Arab, Islamic and friendly countries, wishing the countries and people many returns and praying to Allah to lift the pandemic off the countries, peoples and all humanity. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Premier wished Jordan's monarch good health and happiness and his brotherly country and people for the progress and prosperity, healing steadily growing historic relations on all levels. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent a similar cable of congratulations to the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Al Hussein bin Abdullah II. In celebration of Eid al-Fitr, imams across Bahrain sounded the Eid Takbiyah prayer chanted via loudspeakers in implementation of His Majesty the King's royal directives. The celebration of Eid al-Fitr this year comes in exceptional circumstances imposed by the spread of the coronavirus in the world. As the precautionary measures in the Kingdom continue to limit its spread, where the relevant authorities have stressed the need to adhere to the measures taken to preserve public safety and contribute to supporting efforts taken in this regard. Citizens and residents have shown immense awareness of these procedures and their commitment to the requirements. In light of the recommendations of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs regarding the performance of Eid prayer during the time of the spread of the corona pandemic, the Eid prayer was held in Ahmad al Fatah Mosque to show the ritual in the presence of the Imam and a limited number of worshippers, similar to the Friday prayers, under a number of measures that were approved by the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah al Qatan emphasised during the Eid al Qutbah the need to seize the blessed occasion to consolidate relations, tolerance, and forgiveness. He also stressed the importance of staying home under these circumstances and not to go out except for necessity, while making sure to communicate with family, relatives and friends through available social media platforms. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus COVID-19 cases reached 40,499 with 400,581 recoveries and 291 registered new cases. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions, such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.